so students uh, let's have let's have an example uh, based on expectation value and in the previous video i i i tried to to talk about the the expectation values that we calculate and here we have an example uh, that that what we have is is a uh, is a wave function it's a normalized wave function and what we are supposed to do is to is to calculate the the expectation value of, of its momentum and the expectation value of uh, square of its momentum so uh, uh, in this case uh, what we have is that that this x is defined between 0 and l and the wave function does not exist outside the domain of this uh, l so uh, so to move on let me let me write down the expression for the expectation value and that value is uh, the expectation value for momentum uh, that is integral uh, uh, then we have psi star then we have momentum operator then we have psi and this whole thing is defined along x that's the case right uh, so uh, so this uh, this is clear this p, p is the the momentum operator uh, and and this momentum operator is associated with the observable uh, um, ob observable momentum p uh, and the, the operator uh, uh, associated uh, with the, with the x x component of this momentum and and we we better understand that this momentum operator along x is h cross by i uh, dou by dou x so all we have to do is to utilize the the momentum operator in the expectation value of of momentum and we will be uh, in a position to calculate uh, the the expectation value so i should go with with this uh, so I would write the integral now the, the limits of my integral are defined by the problem they start from zero they end, end at L and for psi star uh, what I will have is uh, the psi star of this that will be the same thing 2 by L uh, raised power 1 by 2 sine pi x by uh, L and then what I have to write is the operator and what is the operator that is h by i h cross by i then we have dou by dou x of the wave function psi and wave function psi is it is 2 by l raised power 1 by 2 then we have sine of pi x by l and I would like to close this all along x dx so uh, what we have to do is to evaluate this integral uh, once we evaluate it we will be able to have the expectation value for for momentum uh, of this norm normalized wave function so to move on uh, to move on from here is that uh, what i have now is this uh, expectation value of p uh, so I will have 2 by L 2 by L uh, that uh, will be scared of that so 2 by L will be outside and uh, this uh, H bar by I will be outside and uh, what will we'll be left with is integral 0 to L uh, sine uh, sine pi x by L and what will be the derivative of sine theta that's that's cos theta so this is cos pi x by l and and we should multiply the internal derivative of this this pi x by l so that will be uh, pi by l the internal derivative of uh, pi x by l will be pi by l so that is not the part of this angle that is a separate identity and here i have dx so so moving on and writing down the, the expectation value of momentum so i have 2 by l 
then I have h cross by i, then uh, if, if I use 0 to L, okay, this pi I will write outside, and this L uh, will make this L square. So uh, uh, what I have is if I write twice sine pi x by L and cos pi x by L, I can write like this dx, and all I have to do is to okay I, I will I have chosen this two inside so we have the formula twice sine theta cos theta and what what is this formula this is simply sine square theta okay so sine 2 theta sorry this is twice sine uh, twice sine theta cos theta that will give me sine 2 theta yeah yeah that will give me because uh, if I take uh, sine of theta plus theta that will be sine theta sine theta uh, yeah uh, plus uh, cos theta cos theta okay so so what I have is twice uh, sine theta cos theta so 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 we can have this this formula uh, that twice sine theta cos theta is equal to sine 2 theta and and we can we can derive it using these two uh, two formulas and this is cos theta cos theta minus sine theta sine theta so so here what I will have is the expectation value of this momentum so this will be pi h cross by i l square now here I will have 0 to L, uh, this will be simply sine 2 theta, okay, uh, sine 2 theta, 2 theta means sine 2 pi x by L dx. So uh, what is the integ integration of, of sine theta? Uh, that is cos theta, so I have pi h cross by I uh, by iota uh, L square. So here I would like to have the integration of this uh, that will give me cos of uh, 2 pi uh, x by L divided by the internal derivative of this whole thing that will be 2 pi by L. So what is the limit of integration? It is from 0 to L. So uh, this should be the case. Now let's uh, move on. Let's uh, let's move on from here and 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 calculate for for this uh, uh, expectation value of momentum. Now, so from here, what we will have is uh, uh, this is pi h cross by i l square. So what we have is basically the integration of sine theta is is minus cos theta so let me have that minus outside and inside what will I be left with is uh, is this cos of uh, cos of 2 pi L and L will cancel so what I'm going to get is cos of 2 pi minus cos of 0 okay I can divide it by by the whole thing that's there 2 pi by L so this is minus pi h cross by i uh, l square so so cos of 2 pi will give me 1 minus 1 divide by whatever is there this whole thing will be equal to 0 so what does it mean it means that the expectation value for momentum uh, for which the wave function was given uh, is equal to 0 now there is another part of the problem and that is that we have to calculate the, the expectation value of uh, uh, p square. So now uh, we will move on from here. So we would like to write down the expectation value of p square. So momentum square. So so how would I define it? It will be uh, inter integral psi star and uh, then I will have the, the operator of this p square which I have shown you uh, what it is equal to then I have psi and then I have dx and uh, 
and I, when I will use the, 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 the value of psi, I have the limits of integration there. So what would I do here is that this will be integral psi star for this uh, momentum uh, scare operator I have h cross scare uh, dou 2 by dou x2 uh, and then I have psi and then I have dx. So I'm calculating the expectation value of uh, um, p scare, uh, momentum scare. So the observable here uh, in this case is uh, uh, observable here in this case is uh, what is that? That is the scare of the momentum. And uh, and I would like to use the the value of wave function here. So I have p scare. So instead of uh, psi star, what I have uh, in the original problem is, yes, so I have 2 by L raised power 1 by 2, then I have sine of pi x by L, and then I have the square of that, uh, the one that I have written, so I have H cross square here, then I have del 2 upon dou x2 then for psi I have the same thing 2 by L uh, raised power 1 by 2 then I have sine of pi x by L and and this thing has to be integrated over dx and and the limits of uh, in integration that we have here is from 0 to L all right that's the case so when we move on from here, so we have p square. So 2 by L is out. Uh, 2 by L is out. That's fine. Then what we have integral, uh, then h square is, h cross square is also out. And what we have left with is sine of pi x by L. And then we have the double derivative of this sine of pi x. So, so the derivative of sine will give me cos. Uh, and uh, and the de derivative of cos will give me uh, that's going to give me minus sine. So I would like to write that minus outside here. So here I will have sine pi x by l. But both the times we have taken the derivative, we have to take the internal derivative of sine of pi x by l. So that will be a separate identity as as pi by L whole square dx. So uh, the, the expectation value for P square will be, so what I have now is minus 2h cross square by L is out. This pi by L whole square is out. Uh, and, and the integration is uh, between uh, sine square, it is sine square pi x by L dx and that the limit of integration will move from 0 to L. So that should be the case. I would like to take this 2 inside so what I'll have twice uh, sine square th theta uh, dx. So here I can use the formula uh, for twice sine square theta dx or, 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 or sine square theta is it is simply 1 minus cos 2 theta okay uh, is equal to uh, uh, is equal to what sine square twice sine square theta okay so uh, instead of this 2 sine square theta what I am left with is minus h cross square by L okay then I have pi by L whole square and then I have 1 minus cos 2 pi x by L and this whole thing over dx from 0 to L and we already know that the integration between 0 to L for this function is 0 so what we are going to get here is the we, we are gonna get here let's go with the let's go with the with the integra integration here and, and see what we get this will certainly give me 0 and from here what am I going to get is uh, is L by uh, L by 2 I see let's go on okay proceeding from here I would like to 
uh, to call this five so I have not sure so what I have is minus h cross square by l cube okay because uh, then I have here pi square then I will have uh, this uh, uh, this zero I should integrate it now so one uh, dx will give me x so it is x from from 0 to L then minus uh, cos integration of cos will be it will be sine of 2 pi x by L divide by uh, uh, divide by the, the internal derivative of 2 pi x by L that will be 2 pi by L and here we have integration from from 0 to L and that should be the case so the expectation value scale of the momentum for the given function in this problem uh, yeah it will be it will be minus h cross uh, minus h cross so when, when I take the integration uh, uh, when I take the integration from this uh, side what am I gonna get I think uh, here I had I had taken the double differentiation so here what I have is uh, is the double differentiation of this uh, of this function so what am I going to get out of it is I have missed the minus sign so so what should I get here is is plus uh, when we take that the double derivative we are here we will get plus so this is plus this is plus and and moving on with this what we have is plus I plus so this is h cross square this is pi square by l cube then here I will have l and here I will have uh, okay this is the sine 2 pi L and L will cancel minus sine 0 so whatever is divided here doesn't matter so I will have the expectation value for for momentum square is h cross square then uh, pi square by L cube times L minus this is 0 this is 0 this whole thing is 0 so what we have is h cross square pi this l and cube will cancel by l square so this uh, this equation gives me the measure of expectation value uh, for the scale of momentum for the function that was defined as sine is equal to uh, uh, it was what was it it was 2 by uh, 2 by l under root of 2 by l sine of uh, pi x by l and what we have obtained is the square of the the, uh, the momentum the expectation value for square of the momentum and it comes out to be pi see pi should come two times because uh, when I take the internal I have committed some some mistake yeah it is it has to be square the pi has to be scared so pi has to be scared I'm sorry I missed it so so you will also resolve the problem of sine which also which I also think I have messed up with uh, but finally uh, all we will have is is the is the expectation value of this uh, this uh, this uh, of this wave function uh, uh, in terms of the the expectation value of the the momentum scale and in the previous case what we did we saw that the expectation value for for the the momentum alone for this function uh, is equal to zero